Okay, so welcome to this next video in the playlist on cis ligand gated ion channels. In this video, what we're going to talk about is the involvement of the 5-HT3 receptors uh, in depression. Okay, so the 5-HT3 receptors and depression is the title for this video. Okay, so we're going to start off with a revision of the structure of the 5-HT3 receptors. We're then going to talk about um, their function um, and uh, how they open in response to um, 5-HT. Uh, and then what we're going to do is talk about uh, depression and the involvement of 5-HT free receptors in depression. And this is an area uh, that is still being uh, researched into. It's an area that the picture is quite incomplete. Oh dear, what have I done? And not the, and depression. Okay, right. And uh, we'll see certain mutations in the 5-HT3 receptors which can predispose you uh, to developing depression. Okay, right. Uh, so, let's begin with, I think we'll start off uh, with the structure of the 5-HT3 receptor then. Okay, so there are uh, seven different receptor types for 5-hydroxytryptamine. Uh, in fact, maybe we should start off with a discussion of the actual ligand before we go on to the actual receptor. So let's start off with a discussion of what 5-HT stands for. So, 5-HT stands for 5-hydroxytryptamine. Okay, so 5-hydroxytryptamine. And let me show you the structure of this molecule because it's based on the structure of tryptophan. So we'll start off with the structure of tryptophan and uh, we'll then work up to 5-hydroxytryptamine. Oh, and by the way, uh, this neurotransmitter also has a very another very famous name. It's also known as serotonin. Okay, so you will hear it called that as well. Right, so 5-hydroxytryptamine structure then. Let's start off with the structure of tryptophan. So tryptophan is an amino acid. So here's the amino group, here's the alpha carbon, and it's a proteinergic amino acid, so it's got this single alpha carbon in between the carboxylic acid group down here and the amino group over there. Okay, then what you have is a methylene group here, and then what you're going to have stuck on the side is something known as an indole ring. So I'm going to discuss with you what the structure of an indole ring is. So in order to understand what an indole ring is, we first need to understand what a pyrrole ring is. So firstly I'll discuss what a pyrrole ring is, and then we'll discuss what an indole ring is. So a pyrrole ring then. A pyrrole ring is a, a ring consisting of uh, four carbons and one nitrogen, and I'll draw its skeletal structure because it's easier on the eye. Okay, so one, two, three, four, those are the four carbons. So remember, in skeletal structures, you don't need to show uh, the carbons. Carbons are implicit. So where you have corners, those are implicitly meant to be carbons. Then you have a nitrogen here. Okay, connected up like that. Uh, and uh, you're also going to have two double bonds in this ring. So you'll have one double bond here and one double bond there. And so we have these four carbons here and a nitrogen here. And that makes up our five-membered pentagon of a ring. Now, where there are, uh, where there are missing bonds, basically, so if we look here, for instance, we can see that this carbon, um, it's got a missing bond. There should be another bond off this carbon. It's only got three bonds. So where there are missing bonds, it's implicitly assumed that it is understood that that bond will be to an hydrogen atom. So you don't have to show uh, hydrogen atoms coming off carbons. However, you do have to show hydrogens coming off non-carbons. So we do need to show that hydrogen coming off the nitrogen there. Okay, right. So this is the structure of a pyrrole ring drawn skeletally. Now, let's see, uh, up from that, the indole ring. And tryptophan is, uh, will have this indole ring within it. So an indole ring is basically um, a pyrrole ring with a benzene ring stuck off the side. So let's copy out our pyrrole ring here. So here's our five-membered pyrrole ring. Here's the nitrogen down here. 
and you have these two double bonds, one, two, and then what you'll also have off the side is a six-membered carbon ring sitting here. So one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And it will be a benzene ring, so it will have alternating double and single bonds like so. And that is the structure of an indole ring. Okay, so this is what you're going to have sticking off the side of this methylene group of tryptophan, basically. So if we look at this carbon here, it's got three bonds already that are shown beautifully on the skeletal structure. That means that its fourth bond will be to a hydrogen atom. We're going to cleave that hydrogen off, and we're going to stick this carbon instead to this carbon here. So we'll now draw uh, the indole ring out uh, molecularly. Uh, so we'll draw it atom by atom. So here it is molecularly. So here's this five-membered uh, pyrrole ring here. Okay, so here's the carbon, there's the nitrogen, and we've got a double bond there, a double bond there, and I should have had a hydrogen off here. Apologise for that on the skeletal structure. Uh, you then also obviously show that hydrogen on the molecular structure as well. Uh, then you've got the benzene ring coming off here, and this is this six-membered ring here. So one, two, and there we go. So there are the six members, and all of these carbons here in this benzene ring will have hydrogens coming off them. So you do have to show the hydrogens in a molecular formula. And then finally, there's the hydrogen coming off here. So this is the amino acid tryptophan. Okay, so tryptophan. Right, and uh, the uh, single letter amino acid code for tryptophan is to call it a W. Uh, and just to add a little bit of extra information, the three letter amino acid code for tryptophan is TRP, like that, trip. Right. Okay, so now let's talk about 5-hydroxytryptamine. So it's quite easy to convert tryptophan into tryptamine. All you do is take this carboxylic acid group off here and replace it by hydrogen, and you've then got tryptamine. Okay, the 5-hydroxy bit then, uh, we need to discuss this. Okay, so let's discuss how you label the carbons, well, the, the elements within this uh, structure then. So, we'll start with this carbon here. This carbon is labelled up as the alpha carbon because it's the first carbon off the carboxylic acid group. So it retains the name alpha even when we're talking about tryptamine where the carboxylic acid group has been removed. This carbon then, the second carbon off the carboxylic acid group, this is called the beta carbon. So this one here is the beta carbon. So let me get some colour on that. So, uh, this is the beta carbon here in blue, okay, uh, and the alpha carbon is here in turquoise. Right, okay, then, um, if we labelled up the elements of the pyrrole ring, uh, sorry, of the indole ring here, we start with the nitrogen, so the nitrogen is given the number 1, okay, then this carbon here is given 2, and we go round, this one's 3, and then you'd think this one would be four. So we're going around nice and uh, in a certain cycle, um, but it's not four. Instead, it's called 3A. Then you move up. So this one's four, this one's five, this one's six, this one's seven, and this one here is 7A. So it's the ones which are joined, the ones which are elements of both rings. They are labeled the A's. Okay, right. So uh, we now know how to get 5-hydroxytryptamines. We know how to get tryptamine. We just take the carboxylic acid group off and replace it with a hydrogen. And to get 5-hydroxytryptamine, all we need to do is add an alcohol group to the fifth carbon of our indole ring. So let's now draw out the structure of 5-hydroxytryptamine. So here's the amino group here, which you still have. And this obviously is the amine in tryptamine. Uh, then we have the alpha carbon here, which now no longer has this carboxylic acid group, but just a hydrogen there. And then we have our methylene group here. Okay. And uh, then we have um, our pyrrole ring here. So that remains the same. So here are these double bonds here to the nitrogen down here. And then this six-membered benzene ring here which now has that alcohol group coming off here, off this fifth carbon. 
and you have double bonds here and here. You have a hydrogen off this nitrogen, hydrogen off this carbon, hydrogen here, a hydrogen here, and a hydrogen here. So this is 5-hydroxy tryptamine, 5-HT. Okay, so this is the um, ligand for the 5-HT3 receptors, and this is what will be known as also as serotonin. Okay, so we'll continue this discussion in the next video.